What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Madden 24 video. If you read the title, yes, we're back with the Tip Tuesdays. I feel like it's been way too long. I love doing this type of content. I've been thinking about making a defensive ebook containing some of the content you see in this video, plus more coverage shells, more blitzes, stuff of that nature. If you are interested in that, leave a comment and I'll definitely get to work on that ASAP. If you're new to the channel, uh, pretty much I've been running this series for a couple years now. I've been on and off with it, but at one point it was doing really well and my viewers loved it. What it is pretty much is I break down some of the hottest metas, tips, tricks, glitches that a lot of the comp players, including myself, are running at the time. And I try to do this every Tuesday. Hopefully I can make a return. I know there's not a lot of content, you know, sometimes the game gets a little dry and stale, but right now I feel like it's a gold mine and I'm going to take advantage of it and drop this absolute fire blitz, the best blitz in Madden 24. Henry ran this at his tournament and ended up securing the win. That's how good it is, man. And obviously had I made the tournament or, you know, if I do make the tournament in the future, I will be running this blitz 100%. So you guys probably know what it is by now. The nickel blitz zero out of three, three, five, AKA nickel three, three. You can find this play in four, six, multiple defense. I think Kansas city has it, maybe Baltimore, but yeah, man, go ahead and run this nickel blitz zero out of the three, three, five. I'm going to break down the setup real quick for you guys. I'm in practice mode right now. If you want to get the best repetitions and you try it yourself, you could get into the practice mode, but first things first, we're going to want to have a, you know, depth chart set up with that you know have the fastest guys in the right position have a lawrence taylor at the left end right end whatever spot this is right here hopefully you guys can see my screen see what i'm doing and subbing in and out um dt bruce smith you know he's really good he's a nice uh run defender get some nice nice sheds up the middle and then on this side we're gonna want to put either you know like nolan smith jr demarcus ware micah parsons is honestly amazing if you have him i unfortunately do not and keep in mind, this is mud. The same rules apply in regs, obviously. So, you know, if you have a fast team with some fast linebackers and DNs, you're going to want to make sure you sub those guys in. Obviously, you have the best corners you can have out there. User like Sean Taylor. Cam Chancellor is a nice linebacker to come in on the blitz. I have Bobby Wagner here. It's going to work out well for me. But yeah, let's finally get into the setup because I know you guys are waiting to run this. So like I said, nickel blitz zero. You're going to want to make sure your auto flip is on. This best works for like bunch bunch offset you know it's pretty good versus tight you got to just make sure you practice about how to use, how to set it up the alignments making sure one guy's on another and your zones like all that type of stuff pretty much practice this and practice your adjustments because sometimes it gets a little tricky versus like bunch tight end and trips i highly recommend running this versus like bunch and tight and that's about it so finally here we go man here's the setup so first things first here's what the play art kind of looks like if you wanted to see boom you know we have five guys six guys blitzing off initials so first things first we're going to want to press our defense how to do that triangle down on the left stick to press next thing you want to do is move this linebacker out right here and you know put him on a blitz angle right here we have him on a contain we blitz him and then we contain i mean that's the next step we're going to contain but first blitz him and then put him kind of in this nice sweet spot to contain you're going to want to do r1 and then r1 and boom we're going to have him on a qb contain and then next thing you're going to want to do is you could send six if you want, but for coverage details, you could put them in a hard flat to kind of defend the flats. You could, you know, man them up to the tight end versus bunch. I like to do that, but sometimes with can Chancellor, I just like to put him in a zone because his man is at the highest. And from there, man, you just make your adjustments. You're going to always want to use it, this guy for the most part, the middle linebacker. He's going to help you, you know, shoot gaps, play the run pretty well. And honestly, you know, just be in the middle of the field. That's where the most action is happening. You're going to want to be in this middle of the field. Have someone tall like Sean Taylor or Cam Chancellor on your user. Blitz him if you like. I feel like this helps in the run game and also kind of, you know, kind of makes the blitz come in a little faster at times. And uh, from here, you know, like I said, you can make this a cover three if you want. You could do something like this. You know, you could just make adjustments accordingly to what your opponent is running. If they're spamming a lot of flats, you're going to want to do the flat. But let's get in the blitz real quick. This is going to absolutely scream dual edge every single time. You could block people and you know, it, it still doesn't matter. I'll show you guys here in a second. Off the left edge, you're just gonna get a nasty loop from your Lawrence Taylor or whoever you have there. That's why I emphasize you need speed in this spot right here, honestly on both of your ends. But you see kind of like how I'm getting this, these nice loops and pressure, one guy on, off the left and one guy off the right. 
and then obviously right here with our user look kind of what i do right here i kind of like drop down for a second and jump right back up and obviously i stopped using because i knew the pressure was going to come in but you know from there just have a good user so if you can do this little drop down trick the ai for a second because it honestly does look at this this guard right here see what he does um once i do that the guard right here as soon as i come down he kind of like fools out and then as soon as i run away he it's too late like he's like oh shit, I, I messed up look he's like he doesn't know what to do right at this spot right so that's why i like to do that little trick on my user i drop down kind of fool the ai for a second and go back up once more we're gonna press blitz contain you know if you want to send six you can i'm not holding you to it you know do whatever you want with the adjustments make sure users blitz and fool them right here we're going to block our running back and it's still going to scream you're going to see for the most part we're getting nasty tool edge pressure double loop pressure this blitz is insane and honestly a lot of comp players can't pick it up so hopefully you guys could run this to the best of your advantage this is tip tuesday one hopefully we get a banger of a video get some nice reviews some nice results if you want to cheese blitz someone that you know this is a blitz to run uh, we're getting dual side pressure and I'm gonna show you one more time what happens if they block the tight end right here We are gonna max your tech and we're still gonna get some pressure guys once more Press blitz your left linebacker or linebacker opposite of the nickel back Make sure he's in a contain angle right here You know do whatever you want with this guy right here man him up put him in a zone blitz him if you want if it's long downs fourth and long definitely blitz him uh, Get more pressure to be guaranteed and make sure your users blitz so you could kind of do the look the trick i told you guys where you loop down for a second and then run back up right here we are max protected and we are still going to be able to scream um obviously we don't get dual edge pressure but you know still if they're max protected and we're able to come in that fast then i mean i don't know man this is definitely the best blitz in madden 24 without a doubt i know db fire is good i know spinner you could kind of do the same thing out of it i know a lot of competitive guys are running this type of setup right now and honestly no one really could pick it up with efficiency right now so do what you want with this info hopefully this video goes crazy with the views because this is by far the best blitz in madden 24 like i said it is formation based you're gonna find a lot of results versus gun bunch gun bunch offset you know forms like trips and bunch tight end the for, uh, the man alignment is not the best you know you it's it's very hard to set it up is what i'm trying to say especially when they're audibling like if someone's running jets and you're not gonna really find a lot of success with this blitz unless they you know stick to their one to two forms but if they're mixing in the whole playbook then you're gonna have some trouble getting the pressure to come in but for the most part hopefully you guys have some success running this blitz i know i have I've been beating a lot of people, whether it be money games, whether it be just online head to head. I've been running through people with this defense. Hopefully I could get you guys some gameplay on that soon. Until next time guys, if you did enjoy this video, this is some hot stuff. This is some Area 51, highly controversial blitz, and I'm giving it to you guys for free here on the YouTube channel. Hopefully you guys can support me, and I'll see you guys in the next video.